My name is Leslie Scott. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner in pediatric endocrinology here at the University of Kentucky. And my practice is in pediatric endocrinology, so I see children that have endocrine issues, um, a lot of short stature, hypothyroidism. Probably most of the children I see are type one, have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Um, I see some children with prediabetes, so we have a team of educators and providers, um, both nurses, dietitians, um, physicians, that we all kind of work together to help the family better understand um, diabetes and how to help their child. The difference between adults and children is we have to um, consider normal growth and development and make sure that the child um, learns how to have fun as a kid and how to um, just, again, work their diabetes into being a kid um, and do it safely. I think it's important that when they're out in the community that folks do not think of diabetes as being different or that the child is different. Um, <clears throat> I don't want them not being able to participate in class activities because they have diabetes. I want them being in involved in sports and academic team and extracurricular activities just like everybody else. I want to make sure that they do strive to be better um, children and adolescents and I hope that I that I can do that. Um, I had a young lady who is now a nurse that I was her diabetes educator when she was first diagnosed at 10, which I cannot even believe that I'm old enough to have been her educator <laughs> that many years ago. But she has told me, she's like, you know, I'm a nurse today because of you. And so I think that's probably the biggest um, gift or compliment that has ever been given to me. My mother. Um, my mother was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was 10. She spent her whole life um, growing up with type 1 diabetes and I remember as a child she would tell me things that she wasn't able to do as a child um, because of her type 1 diabetes. She wasn't able to participate in a lot of school activities or school parties. Um, they actually told her she wasn't able to have children because of her diabetes and so I learned in nursing school that um, a lot of that was due to lack of education at the time. And so I kind of decided that I didn't want another generation of children to grow up thinking the way that my mother grew up and being told you can't. And I want to make sure that children are able to do what everybody else does and kind of work diabetes into their life rather than working their life around their diabetes. And so I like the team approach and that seems to help our children um, grow well and um, adjust to the diabetes. I mean, it, it's hard. It's a lot of work. And I, um, I feel for the families because I grew up in a household with type 1 diabetes. I know what it's like to not sleep at night. I know what it's like to um, always wonder. And so I think it's good that um, they have access to folks that are familiar with diabetes and that hopefully we can help them through their journey to adulthood. Thank you.